Welcome to Living Life. May the Lord bless you as you walk together with Him today. Who was your best teacher growing up? I'm sure you could think of many teachers that you had, some you don't even remember. But what is it that made that person very special? Uh, many times, uh, it's not the subjects that the person taught. Uh, it's not uh, how much he knew, how knowledgeable that person was, but it's what kind of person that was, the character of that person, but also how that person related to you. And those make an impact in the students. What kind of leader are you? Many of you are serving in small group Sunday school as a leader in the church. Uh, what kind of a leader are you? And how do people under you remember you by? In today's passage, we want to think about you as a growing leader who's making an impact in the lives of people. Let's think about it together. First Peter chapter 5, verses 1 through 7. To the elders among you, I appeal as a fellow elder, a witness of Christ's sufferings, and one who also will share in the glory to be revealed. Be shepherds of God's flock that is under your care, serving as overseers, not because you must, but because you are willing, as God wants you to be. Not greedy for money, but eager to serve. Not lording it over those entrusted to you, but being examples to the flock. And when the chief shepherd appears, you will receive the crown of glory that will never fade away. Young men, in the same way be submissive to those who are older. All of you, clothe yourselves with humility toward one another, because God opposes the proud, but gives grace to the humble. Humble yourselves, therefore, under God's mighty hand, that He may lift you up in due time. Cast all your anxiety on Him because He cares for you. In today's passage, Peter speaks to the recipients of the letter as those that are also caring for people that are entrusted to them as junior shepherds. So Peter consider himself in the same situation as a leader, as an elder, he is speaking to them. And today's passage, there are a few things that are very essential. Many of them you may know, but as a reminder for you and me, how we can grow as leaders that God wants you and me to be. First, think about this. You need to have a continual, vital dynamic relationship with Jesus Christ. Here in verse 1, he says, To fellow elder, a witness of Christ, who is also sharing in the glory to be revealed. And that's how he introduces himself. He's writing to them because just like the leaders that he's writing to, he is the one that has been walking in the faith together with Jesus, but he's the one that has witnessed, testified of Jesus' suffering, but also who is not only testifying, but sharing in the glory that Jesus' cross is all about and having the hope in the future as well. Now, one thing that's important here is this that you may know the Bible or certain sets of truth that you can teach to others, but you need to continue to be a witness of who Jesus is in your life. You need to continue to live with hope, and you need to continue to have faith, and you're able to. You should be able to tell others, I am just like you. Walk together with me. A second thing that we think about here is that you need to be a shepherd over others the way that Jesus is a shepherd to them. Here he says, do not, do not do it because uh, you have to, but do it willingly. And do not do it because of greed, because what you can get out of. 
so that you could become a deacon or have a power a trip or whatever it may be. Uh, but do it willingly and then eager to serve. And then he also mentions here, do it not as a person who has authority and using that authority, but as an example before them. And so here Peter gives a reminder, be a shepherd and be someone that cares for them and gets to know them and help them to grow as Jesus is a shepherd to us. A third one he mentions here is do everything that you do unto the Lord. There, are many be, <laughs> there may be many things uh, that may not turn out the way that you think. Or you may be serving in a situation where things are not uh, at its best ideal situation. But do it because you're doing it unto the Lord. Do it because they are people that are precious to Jesus. And do it unto the Lord. And when Jesus, who is a chief shepherd, appears, he will reward you accordingly because he knows what kind of situation that you're in and what you're up against, but he sees what you're doing and your faithful work as well. One more thing that he mentions in a long section is that we need to be humble, not serve out of pride or arrogance, but we need to be humble. He says, do it in submissive way, but do it because you trust in the Lord. And verse here says, God opposed the proud and give grace to the humble. When we act out of our pride and arrogance, we are not acting and relating the way God is. God is a humble God, and then God gives grace to the humble. In a situation where you may find yourself not able to do things, if you learn to trust in the Lord, if you learn to pray and then look to Him, many times God will use you and come through in many ways. But here, God says, Peter is reminding, if you are serving out of pride and arrogance, you are opposing God. So we need to learn to place our confidence in the Lord and serve out of humility. Well, these are just some things that are very essential and helpful for you and me as we take a look at what kind of leader that you and I may be and the leader that continue to have a dynamic relationship with the Lord, the leader that cares for others as if she just does through you and then doing everything unto the Lord and being humble in all that you do. Let's continue to think about this throughout the day today. How do you want to be remembered by the people that you're serving? Uh, do you want to be remembered by your impressive knowledge of the scripture or how smart that you may be? Or do you want to be remembered as a shepherd that God has placed over them? So that through your ministry and through your example, that the person that are under you has and have come to know Jesus better and have grown in their walk with the Lord and now are finding living for Jesus and serving for him in the midst of difficulty, a joy because of what you are doing and how you are serving him. If you're mom or dad, I hope the best Christian that your children will remember will not be the pastors or youth pastors or others, but that they will be you, that they will think of you as the best Christian that they have ever known, and then they will thank the Lord. I hope that you and I will continue to meditate upon what it means and how we can continue to have a dynamic relationship with the Lord, how we need to care for the people that he entrusted to us, and then how we need to continue to grow in humility 
and then living in the way that we are to serve together with Jesus and committing everything unto the Lord. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, help us to learn to serve the people that you entrusted to us together with you as your junior shepherd so that they will come to know you, they will grow as your people, so that they will grow to serve you just like we are learning to serve you. We thank you. In Jesus' name, amen.